Hi guys, welcome to Webjeda. In the last one, I showed you how to create this simple card uh, where you can have you know add items to the card and then increment or decrement uh, there in the card and the total will be shown there. Uh, but I forgot to show you how you can also have an address form where you collect user surface. So I'm gonna do that uh, in this one. I'm doing it right here on the same component. Our app is becoming really long. But eventually I will you know, uh, move them to different components. So let's have a form. So actually we don't really need a form here since we have two-way data binding. So we don't really need a form and then you know you click on it and it submits or posts it somewhere. So I'll have this as a shipping address. Okay, so I'll have a p tag instead of label it's better if you have a label um, I'll have a name and then below that I'll have an input or with the same class uh, maybe class isn't even required um, only when we want to control it or add some style to it we need it so I'll just have uh, the input I'll copy it multiple times because I have, I'll be having um, yeah, that should be enough. I'll be having more fields. Okay, so this is fine. Um, after name, we'll have uh, we'll have email, and then phone, and other things. Okay, email, phone. And uh, street maybe, right? And city, or instead of street, we'll call this address. And instead of input, we'll have text area. City, state, pin. So it can be zip. Uh, and this has been so I think this is fine so we can also have something like uh, uh, calls stem okay, that's to less 20 25 maybe 24 yeah, that should be okay you can have more rows if you want it's too much six yeah this is this is okay I'll just zoom out a little bit so that we can uh, see all the fields okay now what I will do is I'll, I'll uh, bind this to another variable here I'll call that address so let address equals it's an object so object is enough because uh, we'll have one object with different properties so one thing is name which will be empty for now email uh, phone and then we had uh, address so I'll call that street because address is already used for this object I'll call it street you can have address line one address line two uh, because that's how that's what the con convention is city state I think once you figure this out you can easily do it on your own and then pin okay that was all I think yep so now what I'll do is I'll bind those inputs to these you know our properties the way we do it is uh, I'll select all these inputs and I'll have bind value equals address it's an object address dot and after the dot uh, here I'll have name here email phone street this is city state 
then uh, pin okay so if I have to um, show it somewhere I'll just uh, just keep it in the div it's better you know you can show the address if you can show the address right away to the users I'll have another div else class equals current address you can call that anything so this div is address now this div is uh, for inputs and uh, the other one the one below is showing is for showing it uh, I'll show it right here I mean we have some space um, okay shipping address so I'll style this to show two columns Uh, display grid uh, grid template columns should be should be two you know one fraction one one fraction then that will be two uh, gap I should have grid gap twenty m okay. Now another thing is you know we have to style this current address so that you know, it's different. I'll have a border of uh, two pixels solid and uh, I'll have a screen. Now another thing, okay, I'll have it as dashed. We need padding. so whatever you enter should show up there that's the idea so in order to show it there we'll have a bunch of p tags you can have other uh, html elements so we'll have name i think it's address.name we'll have uh, other things also so email phone I think it's street city state is that all I think that's all we had pin okay so uh, so since it is you know two-way data binded so when we enter the name that will show up there so let me enter my name sure it's some email Um, phone some random strings here random number so you can make it a number because now I can enter text also you can uh, have some validation for now I'll, don't, I'll not have anything okay some address some city some state and something fine so once they do that we have the data already so we'll also have a button um, at the end of it we'll call that we don't have to call that submit we can call that checkout so once user has entered that I think uh, we are pretty much done with uh, collecting data and this data is enough um, to make an order of an item um, okay checkout uh, we'll have one click equals check out maybe yeah that should be okay okay it's not defined we know uh, we'll define that just right before or maybe after the total because this comes at the end const check out equals all the input we entered will go away that's okay um we'll alert this we'll alert uh json dot stringify mm, okay so we can alert uh, the card and we can uh, alert address i know we'll have we may we may not have to stringify it but let's see what happens so let's just this check out it's empty and it's just okay so i'll have something in the card 
I'll have two items of orange, three of grapes, name some name. Okay, some address. Maybe I'll start with capital A that way I know what I'm what I've entered. A uh, pin can be a number, right? Yeah. No, so it is showing up uh, here. We have the card, 68 is the total. User has to pay 68. Now when they check out, uh, so the card is showing. Apple is uh, quantity one, oranges should be two, grapes should be three. Okay, we click okay and there is another alert which says a name. So all these, uh, things are filled out uh, which is good so all we have to do is we pass we have to pass this you know data that we collected uh, to a payment gateway or to a server where it will create an order okay so that is it for this one guys uh, I'll see you in the next one thanks bye bye